Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Hugging Face tutorial, we're going to learn about a new feature called Mage to Text Pipeline from Hugging Face. If you're familiar with Hugging Face Transformers library, you know that they have something called Pipeline that helps you create NLP task or computer vision task very simply and easily. And in this pipeline, they've very recently added Image to Text. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Image to Text to do two tasks. One is to caption an image, like if you've got an image, how to create a caption of it and second if you've got an image like this where you have got handwriting how do you take text out of it so these are the two computer vision tasks that we are going to do in this particular tutorial so the first step is um this is quite simple i'm ignoring all the warnings and messages from hugging face transformers library and just wanted to note uh, let you know that i'm currently running this on cpu not on gpu so any speed or any execution time that you see on this particular video is actually on cpu and it is quite impressive to see that this is working so well on a cpu the next step is unity install pip install transformers transformers is a library where we are going to take this pipeline from and do everything that we just discussed that we are going to do once you install transformers the next step is to do from transformers import pipeline like I said before, within pipeline, you can specify a task and there are a lot of tasks that you can do summarization, text classification, text generation. You can do a lot of things. And the latest in that addition is image to text. As the name suggests, if you give an image to it, it is going to give you the text out of it. And then the first part of the image to text that we're going to see is image captioning. What is image captioning? If you supply an image, it's going to describe what is in the image. It's captioning what is in the image and that's what we're going to do so we're going to call it caption equals pipeline of image to text in when you define pipeline usually you can also define the model but by default image to text defaults to a captioning model image captioning model so i'm not specifying any model here so all i'm doing is caption equals to pipeline of image to text once you do that it is going to download all the required pre-trained models and after we do that we have to download an image. Um, I mean, in, in my current setup, I'm downloading an image and giving that image, but you can change this program in such a way that you can give a URL and then it can also get the image or you can upload the image, you can do a lot of things. So for now, I'm downloading the image from here and then I'm displaying it for you to see what is this image. Like if you were to describe this, how would you describe? Just keep it in your mind. Let's go to the program, like the machine learning model or deep learning model, and then see what it is going to do. So now we have created the model here, pipeline of image to text and stored it in this object caption. So now I can use simply caption of image to text dot JPEG because that is the name in which we saved the file inside our um, like that's the name of the file. That's how we have saved it in our folder. Once you give that, then it says it's a it's a woman riding a motorcycle down a street. And I think this is quite impressive for the result that we have got. So if, if I were to describe this, I would probably say, you know, a girl is driving a motorcycle. Maybe even I would stop with that, but I wouldn't go to this detail and it is quite nice. Let me get another image, which you can try to see how it goes. So uh, I'm going to take this. Uh, it's a stock image. Let's see if it is going to work. I'm not, I'm not very confident um, whether stock image will work, but uh, there is no harm in trying. So I'm going to download the image. After we download the image, we have got this image. I'm going to do image to text. And then let's see what's going to happen. It says a woman sitting on a bench with a laptop. That is quite amazing. That is that is actually very impressive. So it even worked for the image that had like all these watermarks and that is quite impressive. So to quickly summarize, install the transformers library from transformers import pipeline. When you import the pipeline, you have to create a pipeline of task image to text. I'm calling it caption, then have an input image ready for you and then use the pipeline that you created in this case caption of whatever the file name is image to text and you have the caption ready and this is actually very, very good. So the next task that I wanted to tell you is under image to text or as part of image to text, you can also do OCR optical character recognition. What is optical character recognition? For example, right now what we did is we did captioning of this image. But if I were to do OCR, then you know, I'm going to look for letters. I'm going to look for letters on this image like I stock um, Getty images. 
these are the letters on this image that I would try to extract. This is OCR is a quite popular technique whenever you have got bank checks, uh, receipts, invoices and all these other things where people try to extract data or extract structured data from those things, especially text from um, something that is like an image. And we are going to do OCR. Here you can specify the model um, and you can specify whatever model you want. For now, I'm using a handwritten um, a model from Microsoft that can do handwritten uh, OCR. Like it can do OCR for the text that is also handwritten. So whenever we talk about OCR, we usually talk about two kinds of text on the image. One is um, computer printed, something like this. The second is a handwritten image, something like this. So, but we are going to focus on handwritten part. But if you just want the text part, then you can just literally remove this. I think it is string or str, something like that. Look for the model name. You can change it. Basically, you can give any model name here you want, uh, depending upon what is the use case that you are going to do. So I'm setting up, I'm creating a new pipeline called OCR pipeline of image to text because this is still under image to text. But instead of using the default model, which is for image captioning, I'm specifying the model from Microsoft TROCR base handwritten. Once I do that, I'm going to download an image and I'm going to save that image as handwriting.jpg. So I'm saving that image. After I do that, now I'm going to display the image just for us to validate whether we have the right image. And finally, I'm going to run the OCR, OCR of basically whatever the name that you have created the pipeline with, the same name, OCR of handwriting.jpg. And then you have the image that has uh, been fed into the system where it had got some text and that text has been read very well. One thing that I would like to remind you here is that right now this, the OCR worked quite flawlessly because we had only one line of text and the image is quite short. Like you can see the image is quite short in size. But if you have a longer, longer image like a bank check or a page of invoice, then you have to do a lot of post processing, starting from converting the image into a gray text image um, or, um, you know, changing the color, defining contours or changing the exposure. So a lot of things that you can do to make it so contrasting that the front and the back front is the litter and back is the back background color full contrast that will help the algorithm do image recognition or optical character recognition in a much better sense. But for now, if it is a single line text embedded on an image, whether it is a printed uh, text or whether it is a handwritten text um, from my testing, this works really, really fine. So in this video, we learned how to use the latest image to text pipeline task from Hugging Face to, to create image captioning pipeline and also to create OCR pipeline that we can use to convert image to text whether it is describing the image in natural language or extracting text from the image and converting into a structured text. This hugging face image to text can do it for you. Please check this notebook in the YouTube description. All you have to do is click the notebook and then you can start playing around with it. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in learning a new technique using hugging face transformers library for applied NLP. If you have any other question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, please check out my other tutorials like OpenAI Whisper, DALI, Stable Diffusion to keep yourself updated with what's happening in the AI ML space. See you in the next video.